Hello. Uh, this video is about uh, giving some clarity uh, on how the admissions in the Maharashtra Engineering Colleges by and large happen. Uh, there are a lot of details which I am not getting into in this particular video uh, because the rules do change every year and we have to go through the, to the CAP website, the DT website where the CAP rules are mentioned and uh, we have to understand the details there and then go by it. So I won't go into the details, but there are some basic information which we have seen many parents and students do not know. And this video is to address and provide that information. One basic information is there are almost 350 plus engineering colleges in Maharashtra. And uh, there are almost 135,000 seats available at stake. Uh, maybe about 5 to 10% of these colleges are A-grade colleges, which is actually where students should actually aspire for. This is a fact of the matter. Uh, but one thing which is not known to parents and students is how many seats are through which examination. First and foremost misconception is many parents and students think that we can get admission to the engineering colleges based on 12 standard boards marks, 12 standard boards PCM marks. But let me tell you that there was a Supreme Court ruling in 2004 October uh, and thereafter from 2005 onwards. The admission to all the engineering colleges of Maharashtra is based on an entrance exam like CET or JE mains. It's not on the basis of 12 boards at all. 12 boards is just an eligibility criteria. So as long as you score more than 50% in PCM and you pass the 12 boards, you pass the 12 boards with let's say 35%, doesn't matter. But PCM you should score 50%. As long as you do that, then you are clearing the eligibility for 12 standard boards. Then whether you score 51% or you score 91%, you are treated equal. Please understand that. So 12 boards do not matter. This is the first thing to get into the minds of parents and students. Because till 2003-04, since maybe 1960s, admission to engineering colleges was on the basis of 12 boards PCM. So therefore there is this strong thought, a strong sanskar, which is there in the minds of many parents. That abhi bhi baravi ka engineering ke admissions baravi ke basis pe hote hai. Baravi se nahi hote ji, jai ya need se hote hai. Now let me explain how JEE needs Let's say there are 100 seats in a college. Out of 100 seats in a private college, there are some government colleges and there are some private colleges. In the government colleges, there is no management quota. Admission is on the basis of some entrance exam, CET or JEE means only, all 100% admissions. But for the private college, with majority in number, out of 350 colleges, maybe around 330 colleges, 335 colleges are private colleges, private engineering colleges. So, Admission to these colleges, let me explain how it happens. Out of 100 seats, 20 seats, 20% 20 of the seats is management quota. I don't have to explain what is management quota. The remaining 80% is divided into 15% and 65%. So this 65%, the biggest share of the 65 seats out of 100 is the state quota. And state quota admissions happen through the MHTCET examination. Please be very clear about it. So MHTCT examination only enables you to get admission to 65% of the seats in a private college and 85% of the seats in a government college. What about the 15% uh, which remains 20% management quota, 65% state uh, CET quota. The remaining 15% is called All India quota and that All India quota admission is through JE mains. Okay, so you can get admission into a private Maharashtra engineering college via JE mains as well through the All India 15% quota. Now there is one apprehension that all India quota hai, pure desh ke log aayenge, toh bhoot kam seats hai 15% plus all India ke log aayenge, kaha milega? Aisa nahi hai. If you see historical records, last 10 years, the number of students from outside Maharashtra who have taken admission in, in, in Maharashtra engineering colleges through 15% quota is very less. So usually these all India quota admissions also are done by Maharashtra students only. This is what has happened. So therefore there is not much competition from outside Maharashtra for this Maharashtra engineering college in the 15% quota. So don't worry about it. Lots of students, including from students from our institution, have managed to get admission into prestigious private engineering colleges of Maharashtra through the 15% All India quota via JE mains. And simultaneously, you can apply through both the quota. This is the beauty which you should know. You can apply, there's a form, online form in the CAP process, where you can apply through both the quota simultaneously, through the CET quota 65% and through the JE mains quota 15%, both. Through CET you might get let's say a college like let's say VIT, another uh, let's say from JE mains quota you might get a college let's say like DJ Sangi. Now you can choose between which one you want to do. So this is allowed, this is possible. You don't have to choose between one of the two, you can apply to both simultaneously. This is another very good feature about it. Therefore, uh, please understand this, that JE mains studies 
uh, not just helps you to do well in CET because students who study for JE mains they don't have to study again for CET. They just have to give some 10-15 practice tests for CET and you can score very well in CET. Our students have been consistently doing excellently in CET with just 10-15 days of preparation because they have already been prepared for two years for JE. So therefore if you study for JE mains you will be getting admission to the Maharashtra Engineering Colleges. Because of JE main studies, you will be prepared for CET due to which you can again apply through the 65% CET for time getting to admission. So by you are increasing your prospects of getting admission in a Maharashtra engineering college by studying for JE. This is what I am basically trying to convey. As far as government engineering college is concerned, 15% admissions is through JE mains quota and, uh, and the 85% is through the CET quota. So this is what generally happens. And uh, the rules do change and again this, within the 65% there is reservations which are there, constitutional reservation, girls quota, uh, then there is a lot of other uh, regional quotas are there like uh, the Maharashtra region is divided into 8 zones, uh, Pune zone, Mumbai zone, Nagpur zone like that, there is a 70-30 quota there also. So those this, this cake gets further bifurcated uh, typically out of let's say 60 seats in any given department. If you are a boy open category student, you have access to only 8 or 9 seats, not more than that. So keep that in mind. But uh, understand the broad rule, 20% management quota, 15% All India JE mains quota, 65% state CT quota. This is in the majority of colleges which are in Maharashtra. The only significant exception for reasons which are not yet known is COEP. Uh, where 100% admissions happen through CET, there is no JE mains quota there, there is no management quota there. Uh, but uh, going forward. 2020 a new education policy is now going to be coming in the next few months by the new government uh, we expect the one nation one exam policy to be implemented and if that happens then there will be anyway for all engineering colleges only one exam which can be called JE mains or maybe something like that so therefore there won't be no state level CET all those things are likely to get cancelled as and when this one nation one exam policy gets approved and gets implemented but that's still another a year or so from now and we'll wait for the government announcement to that effect but please understand the general structure of admissions, uh, which is generally not known. 12 boards is not at all important now. It is zero weightage, it's just an eligibility. And admission is on the basis of J mains and CET. That too, how do you prepare? If you study for J mains, you prepare for CET. So this is the basic way out by which you can maximize your chances to get admission into an A grade college in Maharashtra. Okay. God bless you. Wish you all the best. Thank you. If you have any queries, uh, or comments to share about these videos feel free to do so uh, in the comment line below this particular video uh, it will be a good feedback for us as well as for uh, students if you have any further questions we can make a video on those questions as well because there are plenty of questions which you would like to answer of parents and students thank you very much